more work and play with the lovelocks of Sunning Hill or something like that. Rough cut photo trail. Yes, a place at 22 Armitage Court. Warning sign about the cats, you'll see lots of the cats. Robin's Corner. That's a tracker being checked out where GPS was tested from the late 80s down to the bit of garden sculpture that June gave Robin for his birthday present last year. A lot of you will have seen this, but some people... Oh yes, yesterday was April Fool's Day, the 1st of April. And most people don't realise that spaghetti, the spaghetti tree um, immortalised by Panorama back in the 50s, can be grafted onto trees. There's, there's quite a lot of it about, of all sorts of things. Uh, we come down our front drive, dustbins have been put up, the dustbin box has been finished recently. To, yeah, sorry about that, more warning signs. Yes, more armed mice. Place where pussy cats can hang out. So this is an example of some recent work that I've done in the garden. And uh, everybody knows that I'm a very hard worker. Uh, if I can get somebody else to do the work, I, I will. Um, we come down. Yes, sorry that a few of you have seen this before. Uh, Snoopy's robot boat, skippered by Snoopy the Viking, survived, what was it, over six weeks at sea. That's our camper van that was used to take him down to the coast to launch him. Battle damage, June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. Lots of warning signs here about hidden cameras, some of them not particularly well hidden. And one has to read the small print about water squirters because, of course, I'm very health and safety conscious. So we come into the house and a lot of work has been done inside the house by guys, which has appeared on earlier video, and June's been doing painting. So our lovely plastering has been done here. And in fact, looked as so though she's cooking. And of course, watching watching tennis just for a change. Mm -hmm. hmm? It's the final. The final, is it? Yeah. Mm. Not men's final. Yes. Who is it between? Sinner and Medel. So, what countries are that? Sinner's Italian. Medvedev's Russian. Ah, oh, right. We definitely want the Russian to win, don't we? <laughs> That's right, now, Alexi. <laughs> Sorry, my Italian friends. That's probably coming from all the way from the States, is it? Yes. Right. Miami. Miami. Right, enough of that. Of course, we love Sicily and Italy. Despite what I say. So we're coming through here. And I'm just pointing out recent work. Um, yeah, not at the point there. That's our guard cat. Uh, he really tends to do more hard work at night, don't you, Toadie? And this video will join those on my YouTube channel and will become the most recent one. So we'll go here and they're in reverse time order. Uh, I think the main thing to point out now that is recent is all the hard work I've been doing in the garden and we started to see fruition of that on our patio because that's been in a terrible state for the last few days of me trying to find a leak and I'm still tracking down that but it was only today that we went off sorry get this wrong get this right only today we went off to see a garden that was open for the NGS charity but before that June and I managed to put things back in the same place and I'd been doing quite a lot of work around here as you can see it hasn't been tidied up quite yet so the photo trail 
will show me trying to track down leaks but in the process some improvements are made so a lot of the photographs will be messing around here putting down concrete revealing where water's coming out and uh, tends to flow down here but we're making slow progress on it this is the duck pond and in time maybe maybe some ducks would decide to live there or spend a little bit of time there right i won't give you the full tour because yes i'm afraid more armed mice and places that pussycats might choose to hang out so I've probably forgotten a load of things yes that was something which I did work on improving the water outlet here where all the water comes down off the roof into the pond and hopefully not across into Cameron Dawns soon so we're now going to go into that long photo trail which is an aid to my memory and of course it makes it a little bit more powerful by it being shared openly with anybody who's interested and a few people are. So let's go into the photo trail and this same video may include the 3D track of our walk around the lovely garden that we went to today, open for the National Garden Skin Charity. So into the photo trail. This unscripted commentary may give some help to the viewer, uh, particularly after the automatic translation. First Wednesday the 29th of March 2023 and pub lunch for some grumpy old men. Just several photos. And it was at the Old Manor at Bracknell. Not far from the Met Office roundabout. Then Thursday the 30th of March 2023. And Robin continues to do work in the garden. Most of the work is related to detecting where water's coming out of the pond and attempting to patch it around the edge in order to reveal better where the source of the leak is and make some progress. Found one place where water had flowed under the slabs. Maybe that's it. But no, it didn't. That was an old leak. So the work continues. Ah oh, yes, a new arrival from Hong Kong. A solar powered GPS tracker. Open it up and it all looks fairly familiar. Charge up the batteries with the supply charger. Meanwhile, get on with the work, checking out things. June gets Robin some lunch, some soup. On with the work. Ah, washing. Trouble is interrupted by rain showers. The same way Robin does his work when he can. Luckily it's fast drying cement. Yes, that water's not coming down through there very well. Ah yes, more work on the tracker and need to put some sims in. So check out the sims and then deploy the tracker sat on the rear patio on top of the barbecue oh looks like Bentley's patrol in the back garden watching what I'm doing ah oh, June's washing out hmm, wonder if it fits me Toadie checking out the trackers as well and now one of them is on Robin's corner for the dinner I think and while they're watching tennis I'll take mine through to the naughty corner in the lounge followed by cheese and biscuits 
and looking at the close circuit TV. Ah, oh, there's the heron. And that's how he got past the fence, by treading down the lower wire. So that needs to be fixed. June watching tennis. Then Friday the 31st of March 2023. All working the guard. Oh yes, my old car was taken away by Ascot's Metal Recycling. Back to work in the garden. More far set in concrete. Interrupted by rain showers. The trackers working quite well. And yes, and it works on June's smartphone as well as a position. And that one is on the corner. And that shows up nicely as well on the other software. the newly plastered kitchen area. Trouble is, I got some of it on my clothes. You know how fussy I am about what I wear. Mm, interrupted by rain showers. That's the heron fence, and now he won't be able to tread that wire down. Very heavy showers coming through. You can see how heavy. Uh, the conversation in order to get some of the fine detail working of the tracking software had a whatsapp conversation and yes it works well now and the water <laughs> really belting down the rain look how heavy it is that's the Met Office rain radar 16 to 32 millimetres, is that? And there's the tracker. And that was in the back of the car. So I, I trapped to wicks, loads of water outside the front of that. June watching tennis. Looks like pizza for and other things for dinner. Yeah, looking at the journey. Looking at it on the spot tracker. So that was the trip to Wix. A look at on the personal tracker. Yeah, same places. Wix. And back home. Tracking is caring. Nice slogan that. And now that new tracker, the solar power tracker, and it shows a very good track of where you've been not just the current position including the stops getting back home and there's the total trip that's the product good product there's the fox eating the peanuts June watching tennis Boring. Saturday the 1st of April. Some people call it April Fool's Day. But it is true, we've got lots of spaghetti, uh, mostly grafts on the trees, that are taken nicely. We started off with just one spaghetti tree, but now we've got quite a few. Details of that are up on the uh, website. And Toady relaxing, me admiring the spaghetti, getting ready to be harvested. June doing a bit more painting. Kitchen is practically done now. Oh yes, that was a trip. It's a ball cock and bits. That was to get some extra bits and also to wicks for that uh, drainage from the roof of water into the pond and that's looking at the track that anybody could have seen who were interested where we went or where my tracker went 
and that's the pendant tracker. Back home. Tracking is caring. Now back work in the garden and now the water swirls away nicely from the roof into the pond. Check in again where we have the problem of the leak. We've still got a flow of water near the fence. Not quite sure where to look next. But at least we can tidy up the corner where the, where the barbecue goes. Sadly I broke the second hammer. So we've got two broken sledgehammers. But luckily I had a pickaxe to tap the slab into place. Water working well there. Topping up the pond to check it. Looking at where water comes out. Popping extra fast setting concrete down to investigate it. Checking where the water flows down into the bog garden at the end. Relax a bit. Uh, still have a problem there. But the good thing is that the water now, some of it, is actually trickling down into the lower pond. Oh, tennis. And time to eat. Back into Robin's Naughty Corner near the Closed Circuit TV. Old video chat with the family. WhatsApp video chat. And Sunday the 2nd of April at the spot near where that shark washed the shore. A bit more work before we go out. Same thing of checking the leaks and making fix a Bentley from opposite who spends quite a lot of time over at Air Place. So we're now into... Oh yes, June's doing a bit more work. The kitchen is now looking immaculate. Lighting is working well. Bentley's still relaxing. It's been a hard night. And so is Toady. But Toady's on Michelle's room. Right, we've got the umbrella back in place, barbecue back in place, and a new device is the thermometer, which I quite like, a conventional thermometer. But it's so much easier to see if it had white behind it. And then from the right angle you can see the temperature. There we go. 8 degrees I think that was. Still quite hot though. And now where we're going... Leap House Gardens, down near the Solent, owned by Michael and Emma Page. So there's a trip down, let June drive. Had a nice conversation with David at Hyde Marina who told us about the shark washing up. It had been in the news through the New Forest. We thought we'd check out Hatchet Pond where we'd been before. Where I recall we bought an ice cream it was a lovely place to stop. And, oh, there we are. Leap House. Yes, got our NGS tickets into the NGS charity. Got a lighthouse in their garden. And there's lovely beach that runs along the property. You can see across the Solent to the Isle of Wight. Lovely big old house. Little doggies that we meet where we stop for a break, coffee or something to eat. And we did. Lovely. Looks like June's just started her app to record our track and walk around the garden. So we're setting off now from the house along parallel to the beach lovely bit of Indian sculpture there lovely old benches and of course lots and lots of lovely flowers I won't attempt to identify 
daffodils, I think those are. And more and more trees. You might just hear the sound of the dustman outside as I record this. June taking close-ups. I look like Neptune at the end of that walk. Looking across the Solent again. Some of the outhouses. Lovely places. And this looks like the garden, uh, sorry, the kitchen garden. And now the swimming pool. And back to the house. Flowers everywhere. Time for a coffee. So we would be going back to the car, but June noticed the beehives. Lots of bees. So now June's driving home. And so Robin can take a few snaps on the way. And we go through go through the village of Bewley. And we try visiting Hatchet Pond. And found the seat where Robin sat and had an ice cream and the donkey took an interest in the ice cream but right now they're restoring Hatchet Pond I'm not sure what's going to go in its place probably a paying display car park perhaps or oh, it might actually be free that'd be lovely if it is back home past the Berestead Hotel and into Armitage Court and home by the spaghetti trees Time to move the dustbins up for the dustman coming the next day. Watched by Toadie. There, the dustbins now deployed. And Robin's lovely dustbin hide. Ah, who has Toadie seen? It looks like Bentley across the road, relaxing in the sunshine. Hmm... Looks like Bentley decided to come across and inspect the sculpture, garden sculpture given to Robin by June as a birthday present last year. Hmm. Totally bad check it. Bentley is the senior officer. He always deserves a salute. Good job we've got two of them guarding the place. There's the robot boat and there's June passing the photographs through by email so that I can include those photographs as well. And anybody who's interested could track where we are and where we've been on the spot tracker. There we are at the when we got to the Leap House Gardens and then the personal tracker which showed the walk I made with June around and there's the close-up of the beach. These look like the photographs that June took. So these are photographs from June's smartphone. And yes, Robin Scoffin himself. Lovely old house. That's a leap house. Perhaps I should say that Leap House is spelt unusually L-E-P-E, -E, but it's pronounced Leap. Robin doing a bit of photography for a family with their baby. And apparently, if you look it up, uh, it might have gone back to a long, long time ago when the Solent was in fact more of a river with boulders so that you could jump across uh, from one boulder to the next and get across the Solent presumably when there was a low tide but I don't know it was too long ago for me to remember 
So this is still June's photo trail, the swimming pool, lovely flowering plants, and back to near the house and the beehives and back home. Toady relaxing. And that shark that washed up on the beach. This is a replay in 3D of our walk from the GPS track around Leap House Gardens on the edge of the Solent. All of our walk as a 3D GPS track around Leap House Gardens on the edge of the Solent. This is the Outdoor Active app running on June's smartphone. And that concludes it. One kilometre walked in one hour and three minutes, height of eight metres. I did warn you it would be a long photo trail and uh, it only remains to say look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy what days we have.